Hey guys, tonight for dinner, I'm going to have this Curly's um, West Coast IPA style pulled pork. Um, this is the Road Trips Eat um, series that they've got out. Um, this is, says it's with IPA based barbecue sauce. So it's not, I've had a, one, a couple of these before. The first one had a little bit of sauce on it. The second one was just pork. This one actually has a barbecue sauce on it or mixed in. So that that's good. I, I'd rather have that than just plain pork. So, we bought these at Walmart, uh, this particular one at Walmart for $5.98, uh, which isn't too bad, I guess. Um, you get three servings in a container, 190 calories per serving. Or, sorry, there's, yeah, three servings in a container. So, to microwave this, uh, it's fully cooked, so remove the outer sleeve, which is what I did. Remove the pork product from the plastic pouch, place the, pl the pork back inside the tray. So, basically, I'm going to open this pouch up and pour it in the, pay, in the tray. Two and a half minutes at 50% power, stir it up, and then do another 30 seconds at 50% power. So I won't be able to show you this right now, but let me get it open. Um, I put this seal, and then it's got a bag uh, underneath. So let me get this off, open the bag up, and pour it in there, and I'll, I'll be back to let you see what it looks like. All right, get it out of the pouch. Let me tell you, it's not easy to get it out because it's one big clump of meat. Um, it doesn't look very good. It smells pretty decent, but it doesn't look very good. So yeah. I'll make it in the microwave and I'll be back and uh, then we'll try it. Hey, right, here it is out of the microwave. I just have to say it's a very thick, um, I mean, it's very dense. There's not a lot of, it uh, doesn't feel like there's a lot of grease or anything like that in there. It's very uh, packed solid. Um, you can see it's pretty long shreds of, of pork too, which is not a bad thing. I like a, I like a good shred on my pork. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cool off a bit. But then I'm actually gonna try it just with a fork, eat it by itself. When I actually eat it, I'll eat it on a, on a bun. But, but to try it out, I wanna actually eat it with no other flavors mixing in. So I'll be right back once it's cooled off in a second. All right, it's had some time to cool off, so I'm just gonna take a bite. I didn't let it sit no time. Really, I put the camera in the tripod and then turned it on and it's a little, it's not super hot, let's put it that way. I probably could have left it in the microwave for another 30 seconds on, um, on that 50% power and warmed it up a little bit more. It's not cold, but it's not like hot either. I have to say, I really like um, the texture of the pork. This is um, this is a better shred than the, the other pulled pork I, I reviewed. And I like the... Um, I like the flavors a lot better than both of those as well. So this one, this one's a keeper. This one's definitely a really good one. Um, I don't like the tubs of barbecue. I mean, I had the tubs of barbecue saw, or barbecue pulled pork before, but they tend to be um, really, really sweet and overly, overly sweet. Um, this is a really good uh, barbecue sauce. It is a little sweet and there's no spice, like hot spice in it at all, but it's got a really good flavor to it too. Um, but and it's not overly sweet, like they dumped a bunch of uh, brown sugar or something like that in there. It's really, really good. And like I said, I love the texture of the pulled pork. It's got long shreds of pork in here. Um, there's some pieces that are really big, like like that. It's a pretty good size. So anyway, I really like this. I'm gonna put this on a bun. I won't have to add any other barbecue sauces or sauces to this. If you wanted it a little spicier, you could add a little bit of uh, hot sauce or something to it for your taste. But um, I like it just the way it is. Definitely worth trying out this particular one. I uh, hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you next time.